Hello, it is Jack Gill and welcome back to Redmen Academy. Um, I am, as always, joined by James McHale. Um, it's been a great start to the season, injuries aside, for the first team, the under-23s and the under-18s. But today, we're going to focus on the under-23s, who earlier beat West Ham by four goals to two. Um, they're on a good run of, uh, of form, James. They've had a good run of wins. Um, and Barry Lutus has had an excellent start uh, as under-23s manager. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, we knew how good of a coach he was, but it was whether he was going to be able to like, make that step mm-hmm. up. And I think he's been helped a lot by the fact that he's, you know, coached a lot of his lads previously. And so that transitional period has been eased a little bit by that, the fact that he's familiar with his surroundings, not walking into a completely new job. It's more just a progression for him, progression for him as a coach. And we're now seeing that what we know he's fully capable of. Yeah, it, it wasn't the greatest start to the season. You know, it was a complete different sort of look to the side as well. Ben Woodburn was captain. He's obviously now out on loan with former manager Neil Critchley at Blackpool. Um, but a player has stepped up as well in, in, in Jake Kane. You know, he's been a lad that we saw do really well at the start of the season in the under-18s for Barry Lutas. We were pushing him to step up to the under-23s last season. He did. And then when he did, he sort of went under the radar, didn't look very good in performances. But this season, he started the season really, really well. He's been outstanding, to be honest with you. And he's he's shown that he's a set piece specialist as well, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, last season when he first made that step up, he looked like an under-18s player, played in the 23s. But now that you look at him, he has developed, you know, both as a lad and as a football player. You know, finally seeing him carry on that form that obviously made him such a you know, a hit on our very early shows, you know, this time last year. And, you know, he's such an influential player. You know, they've lost a lot of big names in that 23 team, you know, with Herbie Kane, the likes of Pedro Schillevella moving on. He's come into that side and he's looked, you know, complete part and parcel what we're looking for. Yeah, and the under-23s currently sit second in the league, just a point behind league leaders Derby. But Derby have played a game more, James. Um you know, I think it's interesting because I, I followed the, the game earlier and I had a few problems um, with my stream and <laughs> the tweets I ended up putting out on the Academy channel were a bit mixed at times. But, you know, I think it was interesting because we made a great start to the game as we all uh, usually do. You know, I think Longstaff scored a lovely goal, got in behind the defence and finished well. Then we showed defensive frailties, which we did at times last season too. Mm-hmm. Started the second half, equalised, then I think got... A tiny bit fortunate with with um, the sending off for West Ham and and the penalty that Liam Miller converted. Um, it almost seemed like the goalkeeper sort of tried to give give Longstaff a bit of a nudge, but caught him with with a frailing arm. And you know Longstaff has made a meal of it like like anyone would really, and got the keeper sent off. And it's excellent, but it's one of them as well where you know for for a large part of that game, West Ham looked the stronger side, but we've come away with the three points and it's that mentality again, trickling down from the first team. Right now, the first team did against West Ham, you know, we won ugly and, and the under-23s against West Ham uh, have done a similar thing today. Yeah, especially considering, you know, that team that we played today, you know, the back line was Billy Cometio, who's just come back from injury, Abdi Sharif, who's, you know, an attacking player, playing at right back, who's been out for a very long time, you know, Owen Beck, who's just stepped up himself in the 18 and then Seth Vandenberg who's sort of been in and out of the side as well and you know wasn't best defensively but then being able to go forward and make amends for that those mistakes you know shows the mentality of these players and the quality we have going forward you know Louis Longstaff as well looking like a real good player now he's shown glimpses of it last season but now he's sort of one of the main men going forward and he's not having to you know compete for someone you know like a Harvey Elliott or like a Curtis Jones he's getting those consistent minutes you know he's got three goals and one assist already this season. Yeah, I don't want to go into this too much because we'll do a separate video on this, but Reese Williams, James, he's a man that won, uh, well, he'd been nominated for Premier League Two Player of the Month uh, last month, um, and he's a man that would step in and improve that defence. And, you know, I'd love to see him alongside Billy Cometio, which I don't think we'll see for a, for a, a while now because I think Reese Williams is going to be with the first team for at least the next few weeks. But, you know, it's something we can look forward to in the under-23s. You know, I think a lot of people were interested in, in Billy the Kid at the start of the season with how good he looked in pre-season. Reese Williams has completely come under the radar while, while Cometio has been injured. And I do feel for Cometio a bit because he's missed out. I mean, it's one of those things, isn't it, where... You get, you get the opportunity, you might not fully be expecting it, but when it comes to you, you have to take it. And, 
you know, Kometio looked like it was going to be him, but then it came towards Reese Williams and he's absolutely shown his quality. I don't think any of us were fully expecting it, but you know, at the end of the day, we've got a young player in our hands who's looking very confident. He's in a good bit of form right now. And, you know, I'm more than happy to see these young lads fight out themselves and as long as they can bring the quality to the first team. And another thing, Paul Glatzel ended yeah. the game today with a goal. He came off, off the bench um, to score the fourth for Liverpool and put the game to bed. Um, it's a massive, massive boost for the under-23s. I think they need a goal scorer like him. We've got Liam Miller, who's been getting a, a, a couple of goals and looked good on that left-hand side for Liverpool. But the, the majority of the goals have, have come from the penalty spot for him and, and Jay Kane as well from set pieces. Um, you know, I think Paul Glatzel will, will add something completely new and a, a new dynamic to this under-23 side. And I'm really excited to see him get back to full fitness and, and show us what he was doing in the under-18s for the under-23s. Absolutely, yeah. He's an out-and-out striker, isn't he, the same way Ian Miller can play, you know, out wide or through the middle. Paul Glatzel is absolutely a number nine and he's just, he's so clinical. And now we're finally seeing him get that opportunity, you know, maybe 12 months a little bit later than he would have liked, but he's getting those opportunities now at under-23 level. And, you know, he's showing what he can do as well. Yeah, and it's it's really, really tough coming back from an ACL injury at any age. But as a youngster, you know, you get your confidence knocked. He was in the form uh, of his life for the under-18s, you know, and he was ready to step up for the under-23s. Um, Klopp had his eye on him for the first team as well. But, you know, he, he takes that knock, he, he gets that injury. Um, but he's working his way back now uh, and it's really good to see him on the score sheet today. It won't be the first time. Um, sorry, it won't be the last time either. It'll be the first of many um, because I can tell this lad is he's going to become a very, very good player and hopefully he can sustain this in, in the under-23s, get back to full fitness, have a, a long period with, without getting any more injuries and, and keep fit and, and keep scoring. And then maybe, who knows, we'll, we'll see him in one of them cup competitions for the first team very, very soon. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for joining me, James. Um, the under-23, well, it's the under-21s, will face their last EFL trophy game on Tuesday of the season. They're already out of the competition, but it'll be nice to see them. I think me and Liam are going to try and get along to that as well. So hopefully there'll be a vlog alongside it and, and a, a couple of live tweets and stuff like that. Maybe a selfie with Andy Kelly. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you very much for joining me, James. Uh, and we shall see you very soon. Ta-ra.